As you may know, I'm a Windows user, but is the MacBook Air M4 the perfect student laptop? Let's review. Hello everyone and welcome back to Binoshatek channel. I'm Amin Khaliqi and I'm reviewing Apple MacBook Air M4 with 16 GB of RAM. Thanks God, there is no 8 GB version anymore. Oh, I can't believe I'm this happy right now and I can say there is no 8 GB MacBook anymore. Thank you Apple. However, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know I'm primarily a Windows guy. My daily drivers, my gaming rigs, my serious number crunching machines, they all run Windows. So, when Apple announced their latest MacBook Air with M4 chip, I was curious. But, you know, as a Windows curious. I got my hands on one and I've been using it for a weeks now, especially trying to see where it fits and I'm kind of surprised by how much I've actually enjoyed using this machine, especially for certain things. Today we are diving into the MacBook Air M4 from the perspective of someone who lives and breathes Windows and why I think it might just be one of the best options out there for a specific group of people. All right, let's get the obvious out of the way. Apple hardware is premium. Even as a Windows user, I can't deny the fact that Apple makes the best quality of hardware ever. You can't deny the build quality here. The MacBook Air M4 is thin, incredibly light, and just feels solid. Picking it up, you immediately understand the Air moniker. Coming from the Windows world where laptops come in every shape, size, and material, the Air's consistent design language is, well, it's Apple. So let's answer this question. Who Apple made this laptop for? In my opinion, if you're a student or if you're looking for a fantastic device for everyday use like uh, web browsing, writing documents, emails, and importantly, media consumption, like watching movies or YouTube, this laptop will shine for you. The M4 chip, even in this fanless design, is incredibly efficient. For those typical student workloads, like research papers, presentations, juggling a dozen browser tabs, maybe some light photo editing for a project, it doesn't break a sweat, especially with the new 16 gigabytes of RAM for the base model. I mean, you may come in some trouble with 8 gigabytes of RAM when you are using your laptop with lots of Chrome tabs or even Safari tabs and using it alongside Photoshop. But in this laptop, I can't see it anymore. It's a snappy, it's responsive, and the silence coming from Windows laptops where fans can sometimes kick in even during the light tasks. The completely silent operation of the Air is a huge plus especially in a quiet library or a shared dorm room. And I can say, if you are a designer, like you are using Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, or you are a photographer, you are using Adobe Lightroom, or even you are a web developer, you are a software engineer, and you want a laptop to work well, when you are using your keyboard, uh, you are writing your codes or anything like that, this laptop is one of the best options for you. And let's talk about battery life. This is where the M series chipset really shines. And the M4 in the air continues that tradition. I could genuinely take this laptop for a full day of classes or work at a coffee shop and not even think about my battery life. Like, I'm not even looking at my battery bar and checking the battery because I know I will go through my day without a problem. For general use, like kicking back and watching movies, the display is fantastic, bright, sharp, with great colors. The speakers are surprisingly good for such a thin device too. It just makes for a really pleasant, portable entertainment hub. So this is the webcam quality of MacBook Air M4, but you think about it, I like it, it's, it is one of the best webcams out there. 
I've ever seen and what do you think about the mic quality? Tell us in the comments below. The keyboard is comfortable enough for long typing sessions and I didn't have any problem writing my documents with this laptop and I can say it is one of the best keyboards I've ever used in any laptop. But the trackpad, it is just the best. MacBook trackpads are on another level and I can't find a competition between other laptops with this trackpad. So as a Windows Power user, would I replace my main Windows rig with this? No. For my heavy video editing, complex software development or high-end gaming, I still need the raw power customizability and a specific software compatibility of my Windows setup. But that's not where the Air M4 is trying to be. It's not pretending to be a heavyweight champion. It knows where it's lane and it excels there. It's ultra portable, super efficient, long lasting companion for those essential everyday and academic tasks. It made me realize that for a secondary device or for someone whose primarily needs are portability and solid performance for common tasks, the MacBook Air M4 is an incredibly compelling option, even for someone who might initially be hesitant about stepping into Apple ecosystem, like maybe me someday. Now, if your needs go beyond what I've described, if you're a professional content creator or a developer working with demanding applications or you are using AI or you are an AI developer or a 3D artist or you just need some more sustained power, more ports and even better display, I think you should go for the Pro model with fans and better chipsets and more RAM. If you are that kind of person, MacBook Pro models are made for you. But if you are not, this laptop is enough for you. For those users, I can say, a while ago we actually reviewed that models and I will link them below this video so you can find them and watch that reviews too. And we will also put Amazon affiliate links to buy this laptop in the description below. So, what is my thoughts? A Windows user using MacBook Air M4. I'm genuinely impressed for its target audience. If you are a student needing a reliable, long-lasting and beautifully built laptop or if you just want a fantastic device for everyday computing and media it's a fantastic choice for you it's made me appreciate that there is a mac for almost everyone even if my hardcore tasks keep me tethered to windows what do you think guys are there any other windows users out there who've been tempted by or made the switch to the MacBook Air for a specific users. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you find this review helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so we can make better videos for you. And what do you think about the MacBook Air M4? Please comment down below and we'll talk in the comment section. Bye.